We're going to take it out the box. It's obviously what you've seen in the thumbnail and the title. Throw the box out the way. Bow! Yo! This thing looks sexy on the box. Let's switch over to the cam, the unboxing camera, and dive in. And here is the front of the box. And boy, this thing looks marvelous. I'm going to probably put it somewhere in the back. But this thing looks super sexy, super sexy. Make sure that it's well lit so you guys can see all the details on this. And oh my god, the side look at the sleeping fuego. Oh my god, this is so dope. If I never had an OLED, so this is definitely a new exper unboxing experience for at least for me. If you had an OLED, if you got the Splatoon one or the regular OG one, the white one, or even the one with the red and the blue, you would know what this box looked like. But this is my first time unboxing an OLED. And oh my god, bro, I can't wait to use the kickstand. This is probably the number one reason why I got it. And these Joy-Cons look so dope on the back. The back of the console. The dock. I can't wait to see the dock. That's one thing I can't wait to see as well. That's something else I'm going to have on display as well. And I can't wait to see it. So let's open this bad boy up, right? Ooh, the details on the hits. Who's that? Who's that? Is that the... I forget the the cat starter. It's upside down, so excuse me for flipping it upside down. And you got the cat starter on the box. On the pull tab. Oh, look. Look at little, little Fuet Coco chilling right there. <laughs> okay. And just a little stuff what it comes with. Okay, let's open this up. Wait, how do you open this? Oh, it opens like that. Okay. Okay, so my... uh. <laughs> Let's get it in this shot. What? <laughs> the Joy Cons look so cool. The Joy Cons look so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this this part out of it and just slide it in here. Ooh, look at the Joy Cons. Look, I'm gonna put this to the side. But look at the Joy Cons, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so. We got the scarlet one, the gold tint. Oh my God, the gold is like really, really, really gold. Wow, and it's on there too. It looks so good. It looks super good. Oh wow, I love the new toy con. Really? Oh my God, look at the purple on it. Oh my God, I didn't expect it to, to be almost like 3D looking. This is insane, bro. It's like the text is on top of it and the purple on the light. Scarlet color is it, man. Yo, what let me see. Now I'm excited to pull these out. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh my god, look at the school emblem on that, bro. That looks so good. Let's pull that out of the sleeve. Okay, the moment of truth. The back. This purple is like, oh, fuck, oh, 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 my God, bro. Oh, my God. And it's like, you can almost feel the fuck, oh, a little bit. It's looking nah, is, is it textured? Oh, I'm bugging. If you have one, let me know. Is it textured on the back? It feels like it's a little bit textured. Like the slightest little bit. But it feels so good. It looks amazing. This purple looks amazing. Now... I have the the regular purple Joy Cons. Before I touch the switch, let me grab my OG Day One switch. As you can see, the wall wounds on my Day One switch is is insane. But what I want to do is I want to compare this purple and and I have music now. But I don't know what it's coming from. This purple. It is kind of, it's almost kind of the same. That is crazy. It's like off by a little bit, but it's almost kind of the same. It's like a couple shades off. That's insane. That's incredible. That is incredible. It's literally a couple of shades off. 
I literally can run it like this. That would be insane to have the Joy-Cons like this because it's two different, um, two different things. I don't have a red Joy-Con to compare it with. Actually, I do. Foot Coco! I can compare it to Foot Coco. <laughs> uh, my red one is up there. RP and the Raptor is destroyed. It's destroyed it. I don't know if you guys can see. The back, the back is not on that one. And this one doesn't come off the railing of that. It got stuck. But yeah. Let's get Foot Coco on the shot. Foot Coco! Oh. Kids on the Fort Coco on the shot. It's gonna be right here, but look, comparing it to Fort Coco. Now, this is not an official Nintendo plushie, as you can see. This is bootleg Fort Coco, but it's kind of matching him a little bit. Okay, now time to look at the Switch itself. The OLED itself. Let's get this out of the sleeve. Look at this sexy guy here. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> this shit looks so good. Let me take out the plastic for you guys. Oh, let's get it out. Ooh, that's green. I want to see that screen, baby. Oh my god, it just feels. Oh, it feels so good. It just feels so good. The back of it. God, look at the screen. I'm scared to touch it. Look at the screen. I'm so scared to touch it. Car slot is here. Wow, it's it's holding. It's holding, holding. Oh wow, that is so sick. Wow, it's so tight to actually even put it down a little bit. That is oh my god, that's so clean. So clean, so clean. Let's slide the Joy Cons on. Does it does the same thing over here? Kinda, kinda right here in the bottom. You see the continuation of it. Oh my god, that's that's so dope, bro. This is an art piece for sure. That is so dope. Oh my god. And again, like I, I want to say that it has like this weird texture to it that the original Nintendo Switch just does not have. Maybe it lost it <laughs> after all these years of having the day one Nintendo Switch on, you know. It definitely lost it for me but this one is beautiful I'm definitely going to really like to get a, a gem make sure I put it in the case or something to just make sure I don't destroy this R piece or again fix it and put it somewhere up here I make this look a little bit better I want to put shelves up and stuff like that here so maybe I'll do that got one more thing right one more thing that we have to check out before we get out of here that's this thing this little brick here and then, oh, oh it's glossy Ooh. 
<laughs> it's a little glossy boy. It's a little glossy boy. It's yo, it's like shiny glossy in the front. It's a little glossy boy. I'm afraid I'm gonna get fingerprints on this too, bro. Like what? This is insane. Like the level of detail on this is insane, bro. It's almost like he's kind of like they're kind of holographic. Oh my god, yeah, they are. And the the the, the silver part too. It's just like shiny X. Oh my god. It looks, I don't know how it looks in the camera, but it looks like 10 times better in person. The back has like a little Pokeball. I mean, you've seen one Pokeball, you've seen them all. Now let's put it in the dock and see how it looks. Oh, it also says Nintendo Switch on the top of it. Right here. That's pretty cool. I got my fingerprints all over the Switch already. Slide it into the dock. Get a dock shot. Pokeball, you can't really tell. You can't really tell it's on a Pokeball. Unless you know, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. But, for example, and again, I gotta clean up <coughs> this back here, but. I guess in the background you wouldn't even notice it again you wouldn't even notice it that's why i wanted to put shelves up so it could be up higher like i wanted it to be like where the heart is at a shelf uh wait a shelf that way with the black like right under the the stuff that's hanging off the um the light I have a shelf there and then another shelf like in the middle where i could put like pops and stuff like that remove these hats the hats could go um we'll put like pops and stuff like that like little memorabilia up there but definitely Dope the back looks. I can't get over it. 
Um, did he come with anything else? Um, no, no. Came with uh, HDMI wires, um, a plug. Oh, wow, the straps. Okay, the straps are obviously the white straps with braided and the braid is like purple obviously violet but with like a white tint to it or a silver tint as well and then we got the same thing for the scarlet where it's like this, this, this scarlet then also has like a little bit of white broken up into it it's all black and I believe all the old black ones just didn't have that no it didn't just to, I'm just checking double checking but that looks sexy that looks sexy now for reviewing sake let's see how it looks with the Joy-Con so let's put it on the Joy-Con like so And then, lastly, I throw it on the grip, right not, and this is not a charging grip. Come on, man. You guys couldn't throw a charging grip in here, bro? And this is how it looks on the quote-unquote dog face controller that I probably will never use, to be honest. I will never throw these in again. Won't be that disrespectful to them, especially with this. Can't see the art at all in this. I really don't like the design. I use it when I need to, but I really don't like using dog face controllers like this. I get the purpose of it. I like the utility of it. I just don't like it. I prefer the Pro Controller. I kind of wish and kind of jealous that they gave the Nintendo Switch a Pro Controller and didn't give us a Pro Controller, goddammit. Kind of tight, but it is what it is. I am happy with the Joy-Cons. I'm happy with... OLED and my god that's a beautiful boy let's put this on one last time First time seeing the OLED, so this uh, power button being in like this is so so weird. But yeah, let's power this bad boy up and get ready. Let's start. Give it, give us that sound. Give us that that switch sound. There we go. And with that, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything that we went over with the Nintendo Switch. With the Nintendo Switch OLED. I've been probably calling it a pro with this video for some reason. But again, the Nintendo Switch OLED. Let me know your thoughts on it. The special edition Pokemon Scarlet and Violet one. Again, I am blown away about the details of it and just how beautiful it looks. Like, come on. This camera isn't doing it justice, to be fair. But that joint looks insane. Let's go. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and thank you for watching my little weird unboxing. I know it was kind of weird today. I was trying to do this whole thing with three camera setups. The Sony one kept dying on me, and I kept 
having issues with it. I would get better with this tomorrow. But with that being said, let me know what you thought. Let's chat it up down there in the comment section below. And peace out. Freco go. Peace. Bootleg for Coco. Because obviously this guy. He doesn't look like Fuego. He, he doesn't look like Fuego. He doesn't. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Peace.